Hey guys, I wanted to show you this very old, very interesting pinball machine. It's a lot of fun. It's called Hay Burners, and it's from 1951, made by Williams. And this is one of those machines where people would say pinball machines, you know, they're gambling devices. This is what you had back in the 50s, even the 60s. Uh, they would say pinball machines were made for gambling. And how this machine worked was you would pick a horse. You would say, I want number six horse to win. And how the horses would move or advance, because up on the headboard you had six horses. And every single time you would bounce off of a pop bumper, the horse would advance. So there's six horses, and you see six pop bumpers. I call them bells. I don't know why when I was a kid we called these bells. So they're all numbered, one through six. So let's say the ball bounced off the number three pop bumper five times. That horse would advance, you know, five spaces. Or if it bounced off number two uh, eight times, the number two horse would advance, you know, like eight spaces, whatever. Whatever it bounced, whatever bell it bounced off, that horse would advance. And then there are two on each side, uh, two targets that you can hit where it would either make all the odd number of horses advance or all the even number of horses uh, advance. So what guys would do, because I was there with a couple of guys that would say, yeah, I, number five is going to win. And somebody would say, no, number four is going to win. And then you would shoot the ball, and, you know, the thing would the ball would bounce all over, and the horses would go. You, the way the flippers are, you really didn't have, you know, like a skill, or a, you couldn't really control the ball that much, because the flippers are basically reversed, and the ball would come down, and you're hitting the button, and it's just popping the ball up, but you really couldn't aim it. Also, it didn't matter if you hit the left button or the right button, right? Whatever flipper button you hit, both flippers would uh, shoot up. And that's this game. This game is just one of these old games from the 50s. A lot of fun. I enjoyed it. You have to push the lever to push the ball up. So you start the game, and then there's another little lever under the plunger where you push that, and it scoots the ball up. Now, one of the other things you could do is you can keep pushing that button in and you can get like four or five balls up on the play field at once. And that's interesting, but it, when I did that, it almost seemed like no horses won because you could have it where the balls are bouncing around and no horse makes it to the finish line. I guess you could say whatever horse is you know farthest or closest to the finish line is the winner, but there, there are games where you know nobody wins. Um, Fun game, something you don't see a lot. This is at the Silver Ball Museum in Asbury Park, New Jersey, which is a place that you want to visit. If you like pinball in arcades, it has hundreds of pinball machines that are from, you know, the 50s up till today. And I just figured I'd share that. I was having a lot of fun with this. This is a very interesting game. Uh, it's not something that you see a lot. And if you do see something like this, it's not usually fully working. But all the machines in this museum are working 100 percent you know they, they have a technician there that's constantly fixing so it's a lot of fun so thought i'd share that like subscribe comment i hope you all doing well god bless you um and that's it bye bye <laughs>